<laughs> Microsoft tries to wedge more into Edge. So users are crying bloatware as Microsoft has introduced another feature into its Edge web browser. You want to run us through this one? It's pretty, um, not, sure. the, not the best, actually. I got to find it first. It's 10 out of 10, not the best. Yeah, Microsoft tries to wedge more into Edge. Very cool. Uh, you just got to, you know, mess with those users that are actually still using your browser. That's a yeah, very good yeah, idea. Yeah, the, the few, the <laughs> few like Chromium Edition Edge, you know, enthusiasts out there, why don't you just, why don't you just tell them, ha ha, F you. <laughs> Seems users smart. are crying. Uh, the, the two remaining users are crying bloatware as Microsoft has introduced another feature into the Edge web browser. The newest update to Edge has introduced a payment installment system provided by Zip. Why? This system allows you to pay for items through up to four interest-free installments, assuming you pay on time. All, it has in the notes, all 14 Edge users <laughs> have been expressing their concern as services like these are often seen as predatory, yeah, and exploit consumers' worse spending habits, yeah, encouraging them to spend more, more, ugh, more money that they don't have. Wow, this is so weird. Yeah. Unnecessary. There, that's the word I was looking for. The U word. It seems like a very odd move for Microsoft to do. Like, if anything, if if it was their own product, I would have been like, that's, like, not cool, but... At least it makes sense. I at least understand where it's coming from. Yes. This is just really weird. Super weird. Ugh. Users have also accused Microsoft of being money-grubbing. Yeah. Sure, that that's exactly. But what Microsoft this like. hit back. Okay, where is that? Microsoft said Microsoft ah. is not involved in providing the loan and does not collect a fee for connecting users to loan providers. Cool. Yeah, we understood that part. Um, that still leaves a lot of wiggle room for le less <laughs> direct forms of monetization, like say, for example, receiving payment for integrating the feature into the browser in the first place. Which is exactly what I expect had happened in the first like what I, <laughs> that doesn't mean anything microsoft come on currently there is no clear way to disable this feature actually there is um you just only ever use edge to download other browsers yeah um yeah you could pick up firefox or brave or chrome or chrome. i'm still a chrome user use? i'm still using chrome i use chrome for work it's so convenient because the the profiles thing is so nice I have I have like four or five different profiles because I use different emails for different things and all this kind of stuff. And then for non-work, I use Firefox these days. Right. Yeah. Anyways, uh, interestingly, merchants are automatically opted in to the payment system <laughs> and, <laughs> and have to uh, specifically opt out for the system to not appear on their website. This isn't the first time Microsoft has implemented a shopping focus feature into their browser. And that's, that's not the problem. Uh, in November 2020, Microsoft added coupon code and price history display functionality a la Honey directly into their browser, which I heard which, about and thought was cool. Which that, that one would have been fine. Yeah. Like that's a pro-consumer thing. Yeah. Figuring sweet. out how to help consumers take on more debt is always terrible. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Some people absolutely do need to finance purchases, but I can guarantee that the kinds of things that you're buying with the kinds of debt that you're taking on through your web browser are probably not those things. Yeah. Probably not. Most people are not buying, say, food, for example, through their browser. And some people do. Some people are. And some people need to. And some people need to. And that's... I'm just saying, probably not. Yeah. And those people who do need these services can probably find them. And so they probably have already. reducing friction, right? That's like that's an industry term for yeah. helping people spend their money more easily. That's what it means, essentially. And that's what this move is. This is a friction reduction move, not a providing a valuable service to people who desperately need it move. Hopefully, this reduces friction for users switching off of Edge. Yeah, that's that's pretty much the best outcome that we 